In this video tip from Envision CAD, we're going to look at adjusting traverses, both open-ended traverses and closed parcels or alignments as they're called in inroads. Now what we have here is this open-ended alignment, let me make that active, that is um, called right away one. We have cocoa point number 12 down here at the south. Oops. We have a cocoa point number 12 down here at the south that we want to hold. <clears throat> That's the beginning of our traverse. At the other end of that alignment, we have cocoa point number 13 that we want to match into. The alignment doesn't quite close on that, but we want to adjust it. Same thing with this closed parcel. Not quite closed parcel, but a parcel that should close. We've got a little bit of a gap here at the end where it didn't quite close. So let's look at a couple tools we can use to uh, make that uh, happen. And we need to activate those. If we go to Tools inside the Inroads menu, go to Application Add-ins, we can activate something called Traverse Edit. Once we activate that, it adds three different commands to the menu. Traverse Edit, Meets and Bounds, and Traverse Adjustment. That's what we're going to take a look at. So let me activate those. Go back to my Geometry Utilities. We're going to go to Traverse Adjustments. This is a good one for open-ended traverses. It's uh, set to my active right away for my geometry project with my active geometry here. And what I want to do is I want to start and hold point 12 and I want to define cogo point number 13 as my closing point. Now if I didn't have cogo points I could key in the values or use the pick button to select a, a point graphically on the screen. So it's showing me my courses. If I go over to the adjustments tab I have different methods to adjust. Um, and as a surveyor you probably understand what they are or you can pop up the help menu to see how inroads makes those um, adjustments come into play. Now let's just say we're going to use compass rule. If I select compass rule I can see the uh, graphic updated and it shows me the adjustments that are going to be made to the individual courses. Now that's a preview. It doesn't actually take, apply, uh, take effect until I hit the apply button. So let's go ahead and do that that traverse or alignment has now been adjusted and I'm done. I can close out. There's also a transformation button up here you'll notice. Now if I need to move an alignment you have original and destination point so you can move it. You can change direction on a course which will rotate it. Change elevation if you want to assign an elevation to that alignment or even scale it but that's separate from the adjustments. So we'll just uh, go ahead and close and accept that adjustment. Now let's move over to the closed parcel. Two ways to look at this would be through the geometry utilities and I could go to meets and bounds and this is a good dialog box for making um, edits to courses you've put in or even adding courses because we can right click on a particular leg or course to add before, add after, delete and make some other um, changes to it but there's really no closure in here so that's really not the dialog box we want to be in but it's not a bad one to input or edit courses review what you've keyed in. So with that said we're going to jump back to geometry utilities and we're going to go to um, traverse edit. Now this dialog box gives us a um, the courses and it shows us the, the closure error. Now it's showing me the uh, right away the open-ended alignment. I really want to work on my closed parcel here soon to be closed parcel. And you can see not a very good uh, solution here for the northing and easting closing but we can go in this similar to the other dialog box we're in and make edits or do add before or after. But we do have this closure error so in here what we can do is hit the adjustments button and you can only adjust if you have linear courses. If you have a circular course in here you're not going to be able to make these adjustments. But if I do go into adjustment it shows me my unadjusted and adjusted directions whether I use compass, crandall, or transit rule or do angular adjustments to the angles before um, I make my adjustments. But let's just go back to the compass rule. If I select OK and I apply you can see that the, uh, the errors have been eliminated. It's going to adjust the courses to force a closure and again, again it's a preview until I actually hit apply. Once I hit apply that course has been adjusted. My traverse now closes. I would need to save my geometry project. Make sure that's um, going to be there tomorrow when I load it back up. And I am done. Thank you for watching.